Today, you and I are going to use the Cutthroat Railway system. It's new, it's innovative, it's nice, but it's not as convenient as one would think. So we're gonna see what it's like to try to get from my house in this neighborhood to my office. First off, I have to walk from my house in my neighborhood here all the way to this bus stop down the road, then take the bus over to the railway system. All right, so I finally found the bus stop. It was here hidden under these trees. I live near Maruna Park and the bus is actually free, which is pretty cool. So right now, I just have to basically stand here and wait for 15 minutes until the bus gets here, which is great this time of year, but during the summer, not gonna be so great. And here comes the bus, yay! You definitely have to a lot for the time that it's going to take to travel from wherever you're getting picked up to the station. It was like 20 minutes. They also dropped me off the green line and I need to be on the red line. So now I've got to take the green line to the red line. I don't know if different buses take you to different places and I just took the wrong one. Again, you have to a lot for that extra time now. Then you got to go over here to this machine, put some money in and they'll give you a card. So I got my card, this is what it looks like, all right? And you're gonna need it for when you go through these. So now we make our way downstairs, take the train to the red line, and then we take the red line to the office. All right, so the train has arrived. Now I'm going to be on the standard car since I'm by myself, and they don't want us skeeving out the ladies in the family car. So we're on the train now. It's pretty much mostly underground. And I'm trying to figure out which stop I have to get off to make it to the red line. So it looks like I finally found the red line and it gets here in about one minute, which is great. There we go. At Al Mansur or Al Abidda, you can switch from the green line to the red line. So <laughs> I've been traveling for about 30 minutes and I'm finally on the right path. All right, I had to get off the train because I was on the wrong red line train. That one was going to the airport and I need to go to Wakra. So, whew. luckily the train runs pretty frequently and the Wakra train will be here in less than two minutes. So, not too much of a delay. I finally made it to Walker Station. I'm only 20 minutes late for a meeting, so I need to really, really get going. Walker, as you can see, is pretty, pretty flat and not a lot of stuff going on. That's because it's basically the end <laughs> of the country. It's like the last big city. But even then, it's not really a big city. It's more a lot of apartments, a souk, and the industrial area and stuff like that. My meeting isn't as close as I thought. Uh, it's still a decent car ride from the train station. So today, in this case, it would have been a lot easier to just take uh, a Kareem or an Uber from my house to the meeting. So the meeting's done. I actually ended up not being late. I got there around the same time as everybody else, so that's good. Now I'm gonna take the Metro, or try to take the Metro, to my office in Lucille. Let's see how that goes. Alright, so it turns out I was on the wrong side of the metro, so now I have to go walk to the other side and then jump on the train again. Back on the right path. I have been getting lost left and right today, but you know, that's why we're doing this, so I can show you guys what not to do when you take the railway. So here is the station on the inside. You got nice views of the outside. Office. 
So luckily the train goes all the way to Lucille now. It used to not do that, but I need to find out how to transfer to the trains that actually go from office to office in Lucille. Turns out the trams that take you from office to office and they're supposed to link directly to there from here, not open for another three months. So I now have to take a taxi or Kareem, Uber, car or whatever. I mean, you save money, but at the same time you don't because now I'm gonna have to spend like 10 reals on a taxi and it's about 18 reals to get to my job. Another thing is, I don't even know what part of Lucille I'm in. I don't see the office buildings anywhere. So I think I'm like at the very end of Lucille. So <laughs> this is, it's not really convenient. And I am going to go downstairs and order a Kareem because these taxis end up costing more usually and the drivers aren't nearly as good. They usually don't know where they're going. They don't use GPS. So no thank you, Kawa. All right, turns out I'm gonna have to take a taxi because it's a 10 to 15 minute wait. No thank you. So I finally made it to my office. Here we go, Century 21 building in Marina, Marina 50. So altogether I had to take a bus to get to the green rail line, which wasn't even the rail line that I needed, to get to the rail line to then come to Lucille and then have to take a taxi to then get to the office. Now the taxi from the rail to my office was 27 reals. It cost me almost double what it would have cost me to just take a car directly from my house to the office without all of that fuss of doing the bus to the train, to the taxi, to the office. If you live right next to the rail or you work right next to the rail, so you can go straight to the rail, get off, go straight to the office, it's probably worth it. But if you're like me and you live a decent ways away from your work and then the rail station is not near your office, don't bother with the rail system. Now I'm not saying that the rail is bad, the rail is great. If you are going from like one main landmark to another, like if you get on the rail and you wanna to go to Doha Festival City of Mala Qatar or Souk Wagav or Souk El Wakar or whatever, there's a way to get there. The railway will get you to the stop. They'll take you from there on a bus directly to the thing for no charge. It's great, but for work, Get your ass a car. In my case, I take an Uber, and each weight's 18 to 20 reals, so it's 40 reals a day. That's a lot of money over time, so my best bet is to get a car. Unfortunately, they need 10 to 20% down on a car payment, so Uber it is. Anyway, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.